Hello, Meteor. Hello, Meteor. Have you heard about the website called discovery.com? Discovery.com is my guidebook for life. I learned how to plant an herb garden, train my dog, and cure my dandruff. I learned that most meteors burn up in Earth's atmosphere. Ah, the atmosphere. Ah! Rugo's Corals. The Rugosa, also called the Tetracorallia, are an extinct order of solitary and colonial corals that were abundant in the Middle Ordovician to the Late Permian Seas. Solitary Rugo's Corals are often referred to as horn corals because of their horn shaped with a wrinkled outside wall. Some solitary rugose corals could reach a meter in length, and some species of rugose corals could form large colonies. Rugose corals that have fossilized are made up of the mineral called calcite. Like modern corals, rugose corals were living on the sea floor or in a reef framework. Rugose corals are microcarnivores based on the size of their prey being so small. This particular specimen, called Calceola sandalina, is a type of horn coral, sometimes called slipper coral because of its shape. Though it doesn't look like the typical horn coral fossils one would usually find, the fossils of Calceola sandalina can be found in Morocco. From the Devonian period of the Paleozoic era, that's in the range of 419 to 359 million years old. Fossil corals can be found all around the world, from the highest mountains to the deepest valleys. A solitary and colonial organism that has existed on this planet for millions of years, with their descendants existing right up to the present. If you ever get a chance to go fossil hunting, I hope to possibly see some of the fossil corals you have found if you decide to post them on YouTube. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.